Hello, everyone. My name is Eric Caldwell, and I'm the President and CEO of the Ameren Museum. Before we share today's video, I want to express Ameren's deep appreciation to the Arts Foundation for Tucson and Southern Arizona. Their foundation, along with a few private donors, awarded Ameren a grant to launch a new program that we call the Emerging Indigenous Artists Residency Program. One of the first artists supported through that new program is Mr. Manny Lowley of the Navajo Nation. Manny is a poet and creative writer, currently finishing up his doctoral degree in English and Literary Arts at the University of Denver. He was in residence at Ameren from December 2022 through January 2023. Manny kindly allowed me to interview him about his work, his time at Ameren, and his future. That interview is available on Ameren's YouTube channel with a running time of 46 minutes. During that interview, Manny shared seven of his original poems with our viewers. With Manny's permission, the video clips that follow contain excerpts from his longer interview so that you can concentrate your attention on those seven poems. I want to extend my sincere appreciation to Manny for the wonderful writings he is cre creating and sharing with the world. Um, so the first two I'm gonna share with you are um, work that has already been published. Um, so the first poem was published in Poetry Magazine. Um, they just recently had their first ever um, all native issue of Poetry Magazine. And so this one was featured in there and it was selected by the Diné poet Esther Boleyn. And so I'll read the poem first in Navajo and then in English. Hasisna. Toyasan Shema Dishnigo. Nahasan Shema Dishnigo. Ne betlate Hasisna. Nahasan Shema beje chahas yeh yehadet ego be yete Hasisna. Nsaha case baho one den Hasisna. Sad baho one den Hasisna. Hawande nansa. Hawande nansa. And now in English. Emergence. I call out for water woman, my mother. I call out for earth woman, my mother. I emerge from below the earth's surface. I emerge from within sacred darkness that cradles my mother, earth woman's heart. I emerge at the house made of thought. I emerge at the house made of language. I am home. I am home. And the second one I'm going to read is um, actually a poem that was turned into a broadside. Um, and so it's available for free as a broadside. Um, so if you visit broadsidedpress.org and then you just type in my name or the title of the poem, it'll pop up. You can print it, put it on your wall. And that's how poetry lives in our communities. Um, so I'll read it first in Navajo and then in English. Tchadadin Bazad. Dag eh asnido tchadadin bazad adits a. Da ad a yagad go. Da nigo nahastin go betajitni. Da ad a tene hojonie do pitch it da hui nanigi betajitni. Tadadin bazad yis ago shina isna shinag eisht ho nahastin dag e asnito tadadin bazad a asquaje hojuna The language of corn pollen. From the center of the cornfield, the language of corn pollen sounds when the corn stalks rustle as they say. In the wind, they remember the rain. They remember our beauty and our hurt. The language of corn pollen moves within me, woven into mountain song, dawn song, my name in my mother's voice. My tears are raining. From the center of the cornfield, the language of corn pollen makes everything beautiful and harmonious.
So I'm currently working on um, my dissertation. And so one of the things that I'm doing for the dissertation is I'm writing in various genres. And one of the genres I'm writing in is poetry. And so for these poems that I'm going to share, I have been doing a lot of research um, and interviews and readings of different um, cultural stories that have just spoken to me um, or from different conversations that I've had with different Diné storytellers. And so I'm taking these stories and I'm kind of filtering them through my creative process and, and my muse, for lack of a better word, um, and then I'm translating that to the page. I mean, so right now these poems exist in English, but I'm thinking about how to translate them into Navajo. And that part of my process is very interesting because sometimes the poems will come to me in Navajo and I'll write them down beginning in Navajo. Then later on, I'll have to translate into them into English. Then other times it's the other way around. They come in English and then I translate them into Navajo. And so, so that back and forth is another interesting thing that I'm, I'm thinking about. Um, but okay, I'll share the first one. And these are all untitled, so bear with me. They're going to change over time, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I face the horizon. Sunlight glows over the mesa. Sunlight spreads its feathers. Sunlight warms the earth. Birds of many colors begin to sing. Birds of many colors begin to dance. Listen, listen. The sound is beautiful. My tears are raining. My tears are raining. I gather sunlight in my hands. I gather sunlight in my hands and breathe it in. I gather sunlight in my hands and touch my limbs. The sunlight becomes a part of me. Everything has calmed. And so that poem, um, is inspired by sunrise. The sunrise out here is very beautiful. And um, the few times I've been able to wake up at sunrise and, and walk out here into the backyard um, and look at the sunrise, it's definitely different than where I come from in terms of the colors. So that, that poem is inspired by the sunrise. Okay, poem number two, untitled. <laughs> the moon is bright. It is full. The moon's light spreads around it like feathers. The moon floats over the ocean. It moves. The moon floats over the lake. It moves. The moon floats over the river. It moves. A baby floats in its mother's womb. A baby floats in its mother's water. The moon is overhead. The mother's water moves. It moves. The baby is forming, the baby is moving. Life moves, life extends forever. Do you have a couple uh, final poems you'd like to share with us? I do, I do. Um, and these are new ones, again, that um, I'm kind of playing with. So I'll share three more and they're very short, so they're not gonna take like, an hour or something. <laughs> this next one um, is a poem that has a title. So here goes. The songs came together. The old woman sighed. She shaded her eyes from the sun. There was a huge tree. She sat beneath it. It was a long time ago, she said. I learned songs from my dad. It was many months. I followed him and helped him. That's how the songs came together for me. She looked off into the distance. She began to sing. The earth moved on a hot afternoon. The old woman sang and the earth moved for her. The whole earth is moving now. Can you feel it? And the second one is untitled. It is time for the birds to dance. 
It is time for the birds to make things right again. Bluebirds dance and sing. In their motion, the people know who they are. In their motion, the world is restored. It is time for the birds to dance. It is time, it is time. The birds dance. I am emotional. And this is the last one that's untitled and very short. <laughs> and again, these poems will probably go through multiple iterations, um, but these are the poems fresh off the press. <laughs> <clears throat> Rain sits on the mountaintop. Plants shake their leaves. Sheeps call out, meh, meh. Life unfolds in fields. Rain walks down the mountain. Thank you. <laughs>